welcome to tutorial on system while log so in this video we are discussing what is fork join so system while log provides support for parallel threads through fork join construct the threads outside fork join waits until all the processes inside the fork join have finished execution the processes inside fork join will run in parallel and it waits for the completion of all the processes so in this program you can see uh, we have designed a module so the statement one is outside the fork join block you can see the display this is statement one this uh, function is outside the fork join block and the fork uh, this keyword will is, uh, denote the start or beginning of the fork join block so as you can see inside the fork join block we have one process process one and it will take five uh, times uh, five time units to finish and then there is process two inside the fork join block so it will take 20 time units to finish so we have two processes inside the fork join block and then we can see there is two its statements outside the fork join block statement two and statement three so we have uh, one sta statement one before the start of the fork join block then inside the fork join block we have two processes uh, which are taking five and five time units and 20 time units respectively and these two processes are inside the fork join block and then we have two statement outside the fork join block so remember the processes inside the fork join block will execute concurrently or in parallel so this is a simple program to demonstrate fork join uh, construct. So uh, we can now simulate the program and uh, check the output. So statement 2 and statement 3 are outside the fork join block. And you can see this is the, uh, this is the result. We will relaunch the simulation. So it is uh, simulating. So just wait for the simulation uh, outcome. It will take uh, some uh, one or two seconds to. So this is uh, you can see the result. So first statement one, which was outside the fork join block, has executed. Then at zero time unit, process one and process two both started to execute then at 5 time minutes process 1 finished and at 20 time minute process 2 finished then only after the completion of these two processes statement 2 and statement 3 uh, start uh, executed so it took a total of 20 nanoseconds to finish so remember this statement 2 and statement 3 cannot finish without the uh, cannot start to execute without the finish of the process 2 so this is simple fork join 